a former presidential staffer under the Mahama administration, Standard Bay is accusing initiator of the Saglemi Housing Project, E.T. Mensa, of being the one who caused financial loss to the state. He insists that should be, if there should be any just cause for prosecution over the construction of the project, E.T. Mensa, the then former minister of Works and Housing, should be the one in the grips of the law. Standard Bay is not the first to have accused E.T. Mensa of being the reason for the poor construction of the project. MP for Isunafo South, Eric Opoku, former Deputy Information Minister, Phyllis Kwachifosu, and National Communications Officer of the NDC, Sami Jenfi, have all blamed E.T. Mensa over the controversial project We'll share with you a Facebook post on Standard Bay, uh, but the former Works and Housing Minister, E.T. Mensa, has expressed surprise at some comments made in defense of the NDC's administration's handling of the controversial project. He describes some of the utterances as outright lies, insisting that the project was initiated under his watch and it was to be done, uh, not to be done in phases. The technical committee which worked on this so the document you took to parliament, did it include drawings and all that? No, no, no. You don't you know, uh, take drawings, drawings to, parliament. Okay. to parliament. How many phases were you going to complete this in? 5,000 houses, first phase. Straight. One phase, build all the 5,000? Yeah, 5,000 houses. we are being houses. told that you were going to do it in four phases. It is a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie? I was not involved. So if anything at all, if I wanted to change anything, I'm not a kid. I will have to go through the same process. process. Back to Parliament. Somebody, you know, uh, gave the executive approval. So if it is happening, there was somebody there. So I would have gone to that uh, president who was there and asked for through the Get another committee. executive approval and then go back to Parliament. Exactly. So E.T. Mensa spoke in that interview with Paul Adamotri on Good Evening Ghana on Metro TV. Let me now bring you Standard Bates Facebook post in which he says that the former minister should be the one facing prosecution. It says, upon my review of documents available to me on the matter on the Saglemi housing project, which agreement including the EPC state or a legally reasonable reason to prosecute anybody in relation to that project, then the person, the attorney general, should be prosecuting is Mr. Enoch Tay Mensah, the then minister. Any act that requires prosecution or financial loss for that matter is the result of his actions and decisions and signing of the agreement. Now, Mr. Dauda and four others are facing a total of 52 charges over allegedly misapplying public funds meant for the construction of the 5,000 housing unit at Saglame. And Accra High Court, presided over by Justice Comfort Tasiame, granted self-recognizance bail to Mr. Dauda, the first accused person, and asked him... ...at the ministry, Zeblin Yakubu, the executive chairman of Constructora Owas Ghana Limited, Andris Krokanas, and Novita Te Angelo, who also rendered consultancy services. They are being charged with causing financial loss to the state and misapplication of public funds, among others. But Mr. Dauda and the four others pleaded not guilty. The Attorney General, Goffer Dami, shortly after outlining the fact of the case, asked the court to grant Collins Dauda a self-recognizance bail because he is a constitutional office holder. But the request was not without a condition to compel the former minister to deposit his Ghanaian passport to the court registrar. Lawyer for Mr. Dauda, Thadio Sori, did not oppose the bail condition, but prayed the court to allow his client have possession of his passport. He argues that the NP is also a member of the Pan-African Parliament and would be required to travel periodically to est Justice Confortasiame then granted the request for the self-recognizance bill, but however, directed Collins Dauda to submit his passport to the court registrar. She also ruled that the second accused person, Kweku Ajiman Mensa, be granted bail in the sum of $65 million with two sureties. He is also required to deposit his Ghanaian passport. The third accused person, Ziblin Yakubu, was granted bail in the sum of $65 million with three sureties, of which one must be $9 million with three sureties, whilst Novitete Angelo was granted bail in the sum of $30 million 
with three charities. Now, the minority leader in parliament, Harina Jitsu, has described criminal charges against the former works and housing minister, Collins Dauda, as frivolous trump up charges aimed at politically persecuting and harassing former government appointees. He spoke to the media shortly after court proceedings. A very experienced and uh, seasoned MP, the Honorable Colonel uh, Vacation, and it's instructive that they are being charged when they're caught are themselves on vacation. What is the hurry? What is the desperation? That he has willfully caused loss of financial loss to the state. Whose value? Whose value? Whose value? I hear an attorney general say the value is $64 million, whether he's an expert or not. I just believe that these are frivolous trumped up charges intended to political persecute and politically harass. As I've said, we remain undaunted to the state when we have evidence that as at May, as at May 2018, 31st, May, 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 May 2018, some payments were made to the same contractor. Yet, the persons who made those payments are not being charged. It only can be a matter of selective. Oh, I'm sure you're talking about Tachian. Uh, he no, has denied no, the claim. No, no, no. I, what I have said is, as at May 31st, 2018, total payments to the contractor May 2018 was not a Collins Dada era. It was not a John Dramani Mahama presidency. On to Article 17 of the 1992 Constitution, we don't want to believe that this is also another selective justice aimed at political harassment and political intimidation of us. But I do not think that the, I've listened to the charges. I'm not even aware that ministers generate certificate or yeah, IPC for payment. That's not a ministerial uh, role. I just know that technical consultants do that evaluation, probably for ministers to refer to it. But the matter is before court, that we will not be intimidated.